Chloe, uh, life here in the sixth form at Stanford and Coringham, how's it going? Yeah, I'm really enjoying it at the moment. I'm really enjoying my lessons. Um, it's nice having just a small year. We all get on, I think. <laughs> so, yeah. Good. And so is it a big change from Gable Hall? Um, not really. Um, we do. We are treated a lot more like adults here, um, but we're still around school, so it's not as big as a change, but it's, it's enough to make us feel like we're a bit more ad grown up. <laughs> Because some people said that the the leap from going in year 11 to a sixth form college is too much for a lot of students. So does it, this feel a, a, an easier transition for you? Um, yeah, it's, it's a lot more sm smooth and because we know our way around and we know the teachers, we kind of know know what's going on. So although it's, it's kind of a gap in learning because the gap is quite big from GCSE to A level, it, it's not very unsettling in sixth form because it's quite... Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, in what way is the gap different from GCSE to A level? Um, it's the um, the kind of content and um, it's just a lot more difficult. There's a lot more skills you need to acquire and you need to grow quite quickly in quite a short amount of time. But it's 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 easier going to sixth form because there's not so much of that learn a new place as well. Jared, how's it going? It's going really well actually, yeah, it's going, going good. What are you studying? I'm doing history, business studies, IT and psychology. You're in this lovely centre here. Yeah. Is, is, do, is a lot of the subjects based here or the sixth form actually based here? What, tell me about the buildings, so to speak, your relationship with it. Um, with, with IT I'm based here a lot. Um, I have a Friday lesson here. Um, history and psychology is um, at, at Gable and business studies actually here in this building as well, so it's nice. All right, so you, some lessons you go over to, back over to Gable Hall. Yeah, I mean today I'm today I'm at both places. So how would you get over there? Mini bus. Ah, oh, that, that, that's good. That's good. It um, gives us a good twenty minutes as well because um, we get there in about five minutes and it gives us fifteen minutes to you know chill out and get in the mood for the next lesson. So it's good. And as sixth formers, do you feel you've been treated a little bit more like adults? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Because uniform is another thing. It's a bit you know a bit boring to wear the same uniform. You get to wear your own clothes, and it's it's better. And, and how many in your sixth form? In our year, I think it's around 30. So in many ways, you're like, because there was, this has been a slow build-up over a couple of years, I believe. Yeah. And so you're the sort of big, first big sixth form, mm. so to speak. Yeah. So feel like pioneers. You know? Yeah, yeah it's, it's good, yeah. It's, uh, I think it's better because we're all from different schools around the area as well, and we've, like, we've met and we've got on so quickly, and it's, it's just easy to... Easy to talk to each other. Brilliant. Yeah, I really enjoy it. It's it's the uh, the sofas in there, are nice and comfy. You know, everyone's chilled out, and all the facilities in there as well. You got you got the fridge, the microwave, um, kettle, and the, obviously you can bring in your own your own food like pot noodles. It's just an easier lunch. <laughs> pot noodle. On the way. You're getting ready for university, aren't you? And you mentioned pot noodle. Um, but are you? Um, some people might say, well, sixth form is not about sitting around on a sofa. So, are you? Is that a study area in any shape or form? Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes we um, we have we have business study lessons, and we'll do our lessons. And sometimes we'll come into the common room and do a bit of lesson as well to, you know, give us a break. And we'll read through some pages, and then we'll go back in and do the work. And it's it's good. And uh, Sue, so you're into your third year with the sixth form now here here at Stanford and Coringham. How's it going? Oh, it's going good, really good. Um, we've got 55 students now, um, a mixture of students from St Clair's, Hassenbrook and Gable Hall. Um, we're fortunate that we've got this really lovely building here that we use um, quite a lot and obviously for lessons mainly and they've got the nice common room. Um, and then in September we're going to get another building at uh, Gable Hall and again that will have really nice extensive facilities and it will also have a skills centre so we'll be able to extend our curriculum. Because in, on, I've been here filming open evenings mm -hmm. for a few years and you can feel the parents flocking to the building. So this particular building mm. here at Hassenbrook is, is a big, it's a real big cellar, isn't it's it? It's lovely. It's really nice. And the students really like it. And then what we can do is when we need to do um, lessons at the other sites, obviously we just minibus them across. So it's OK. And the, the students, they, they seem, the two were just interviewed and we've seen them in the meeting you just had. It, Seem pretty switched on and mature. Mm, they are. We've had a really nice group from all three schools. 
and they've all got on really well actually and it's quite funny because we've got a couple of romances <laughs> a couple from Hassenbrook have teamed up with the with the students from Gable Hall and vice versa so it's quite funny <laughs> but 50, the number of 55 so that's quite an important breakthrough for mm. you to get through the 50 yeah. barrier yeah. um where do you go from there hopes wise with numbers um we're aiming to we hope to have over 80 next year over 80 and I'm, you know at the moment i'm getting the applications in i've had a few you know, quite a few applications in um i'm in the process of doing their subject discussion meetings because we don't do an interview we do a subject discussion meeting it's more it's not so much about whether we want you or we don't want you obviously we want all the students but what we do want to do is make sure they're on the right courses. So it's about the subjects they're choosing and if that matches their capabilities and also if it matches their aspirations, what they're going to do after six months. And you're saying about the same. There's a, there's a real concern in Tharat that regarding only 9% of students go on to higher education. So do you see yourself here at Stanford Coring as part of that solution? Um, yes, we definitely do. Um, that's one of the reasons the head teachers wanted a sixth form because um, many of their uh, good students uh, left and went on and didn't feel um, supported because there is that big gap between GCSEs and A levels. They're very much about self managed learning, um, and I think, you know, for five years we very much. Um, you know, control the students and spoon feed them because we obviously want them to get the best results possible. And then I think it's then hard for them to suddenly then be thrown into the situation where well, you're on your own now, do it all yourself. <laughs> so it's quite it's quite hard. So we're sort of an in between. Um, we do want to treat them like adults, and we do, as as the students have told you. But obviously, if they do get behind, if they do have difficulties, we do chase them up as well. And we have um, a mentoring program so that all the students have two meetings every half term with their mentor and go through their grades, what they need to do to improve, where they're having problems, and what we can do to support them. And you enjoy your role. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. What would you say is the main part of your role? Um, I think my role is everything. Actually, <laughs> I do a bit of everything. Um, it's tr it, it's hard because it's the logistics of the situation working in three schools. It's trying to pull it all together um, and keep an identity as Stanford and Corringham Sixth Form. So. It, it